Welcome to another crossout news video and we got some big news today because a new battle pass is coming for crossout. Personally, this is one of my favorite things about the game that the devs have made here in 2020. I'm really digging this style where you get a couple of new challenges for the game. Can seem a bit grindy at times, but all in all, you know, you as a player are able to get a lot of stuff for quite cheap in case you're willing to offer $10 or something on the game. If that will be the price of the battle pass. Once again, we will actually have to see that. But we'll see how everything goes as soon as they release this. For now, we will talk about what we know. The devs have released a new update here called how to get the new parts in Crossout 0.11.40. What we know about this so far is that it's probably going to be a battle pass called Doomsday Cars, which and will be led on by these three dudes. And they will come in a sort of, you know, linear uh, progression, which means that you will first get Sutter, then you will get Tachyon, and then lastly Sigurd. Those three are the guys that are coming. You can see them right there. And... We will just uh, go through the patch notes here, but they will be sort of unlocked in a linear fashion, so one after the other. With the release of the update, a special in-game event will begin, which will be available to all players. We plan that it will have at least 75 levels, uh, at the exact amount may change. Reaching each level will take you one step closer to getting all the new items. Thus, all players without exception will be able to unlock structural parts, faction parts, recipes, and new logo that displays your current level in the event. This is the same as the founders, pretty much. So we kind of know what to expect with the battle pass and the structure of the battle pass, which I think is great. You know, it sort of just gets a great transparency, transparency towards what we can expect. Um, besides that, you will, if you buy the battle pass, get ready-made parts, cosmetic parts, portraits, and in-game coins. This is also the same as from the last one. So if you buy the battle pass, then you will get ready-made parts. And the greatest thing about these parts is that, at least in the founders, these were actually fused. So you get a lot of value for your money. Besides that, the event will be available for a limited time, just like the previous one. Around three months, they say, which was, I think, also the same as the last battle pass, or that one might have been... 75 days not really sure about that but but around that so this one seems to be around 90 days which is cool and once again the challenges will be both daily and weekly if you can't enter the game and have remaining weekly challenges they will be saved and transferred to the next week this is again great the only thing i'm really hoping is that they won't restrict which missions you can grab to the ones that are visualized in your challenges uh, menu i think it was an issue that you know you were locked to completing some until you could actually go back and complete some previous ones so i do hope that they will sort of make everyone available or make it so that you can select two or three of those challenges that you actually are willing to do i think it's super cool and i'm really really excited for this just wanted to let this out to you guys once again and you saw the screenshot that i posted earlier this is what we've seen so far at least we can see the new cabin on this screenshot as well as some meat grinders and some bigfoot wheels so this is definitely the fire starters build he has a very interesting crane here on the back which is not the one that the stefan wolf brings so i'm assuming that this is another new huge decor item and i'm really excited to see the hitbox if this can be used for some build exploiting like some people do with mammoths and stuff uh, or, or not horizontal wow horizontal mammoths yes <laughs> inflatable mammoths but we'll have to see how that all goes as soon as we get more on this since they're not really 100 sure about the um the level so far i'm assuming that we won't get to see this before until at least next thursday maybe but we'll uh we'll know more about that in the future that is all for this video thank you so much for watching catch you in the next one bye bye